Hello. Hey guys, this is part two of our 28 week growth and echocardiogram scans. So in the first vlog, we were talking about our echocardiogram scan and our meeting with the cardiologist. So in this vlog, we're talking about our 28 week 28 week growth scan and our meeting with the uh, doctors at MFM. What came from that was um, it was just your normal routine um, growth scan. Um, the sonographer was looking at the same sort of things that they had been looking at at 22, 24, 26 weeks. I think uh, this scan in particular both the babies were just in awkward positions mm. and she had a tough time trying to get the measurements and the scans and everything uh, for twin A and twin B. Um, in the past, um, twin B has been uh, the baby that has been really hard to sort of scan because... Wriggly. Yeah, very wriggly and often moving and often in a awkward position, but today uh, both of them were. Yeah. and. That just meant that it was more awkward for Ellen because she was pushing and prodding with the ultrasound wand in all, her hand, just and her hand, them. trying to get them to roll over uh, because they were both of them were belly down, so their belly and they, they were facing Ellen's back, your spine, yeah. and um, Twin A was face down, like head down, and Twin B was head up, so breach. It took a while, but we were able to get um, all the scans done. Um, from that, um, from that, when we have a look at weight, um, our target weight was about the one point one five. Well, even one point one would have been okay with. Um, and today, so Twin B was one point two o seven, and um, Twin B was one point two. One two, so um, in the scheme of things, we thought that you know twenty or thirty gram variance was really good. Um, today, there's only a variance of five grams, and now Twin B is bigger. Where in the last scan, Twin A was thirty grams bigger. So again, um, they're around the same way, and they keep just overtaking each other in size, and that is much bigger than um, our target weight, which is uh, which is reassuring. Um, so they're sitting at um, the 55, 50%, uh, 56 percentile. Which is which is fantastic. Mm. I mean, like you know, we want them to be, um, you know, we need them to be above it, average. Well, twin A needs to be two grand, uh, two two kilos before they will operate. So mm. they're well on their way of, of hitting that target. Um, in the next scan, they'll probably be one point five um, kilos, which would be fantastic um, in, in weight. But we'll see when that comes up in, a, in another couple of weeks. Mm. Um, One thing they said was that Twin A's got a, a you know, bigger head, smaller stomach, whereas Twin B has a bigger stomach, smaller head. Yeah. So they kind of make up for it differently. Yeah. Uh, but we got to see Twin B's uh, little baby fat rolls. Yeah, <laughs> on, on its back. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Hey, come on. Round this way. Round this way. Oh, <laughs> and um, so Ellen had her anti D shot today. Yeah. And uh, when we met up with the midwife before we went and saw the doctor, Ellen got her results back from her blood test and um, and um, the drink, the, the glucose tolerance test. Yeah, the glucose tolerance test, and um, she's not um, diabetic, which is good. I would like to say they said it's perfect. Perfect, mm -hmm. and. Um, the only thing that showed abnormal on your test was um, low ferritin, so it's quite low. So they're uh, talking transfusion, but um, I don't have to do that immediately. We can do that in a couple of weeks. Um, iron and, and hemoglobin. And uh, my he hemoglobin is slightly low, so it's just borderline low. Uh, but that could explain why I feel so tired all the time. So this week, I'm going to get my whooping cough and my flu vax done. Um, which I'll just do at work and apart from that like it was a very quick appointment with the, um, the obstetrician at MFM she just came out said they're doing so perfectly and everything's great and asked if you have any concerns and everything being so well we, you don't at this point yeah 
everything's tracking well. Yeah, very well. So um, in the next fortnight, uh, we'll be meeting up with the neonatal doctors and then uh, we'll be having a tour of the nurseries. Mm -mm. So we're looking forward to that. And, um, and that's pretty much it for the growth scans. Everything's going fantastically well um, and, and has been. So we just want to keep all these positive uh, vibes going. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do know that later on in the pregnancy is where things can happen quickly. Um, so they'll be keeping a good eye on that. Um, but as the updates go, uh, we'll have a look at Ellen's baby bump. And then with um, Ellen's app, how big are they at the moment for 28 weeks on your app? No, off the top of my head, it's like, wow. know, depending what you look at, it was um, the size of, the size of Dorothy's red shoes from The Wizard of Oz. Um, I'd like to say as well, Emily, and you have 13 working days left. <laughs> spread out over four weeks so you're looking forward to that because <laughs> you're just so sore at the moment and right, of been... course she doesn't make it easy <laughs> no. for you she's just climbing and doing oh. all sorts of stuff so guys uh we'll call it there um so if you're pregnant if you're pregnant with twins if you have twins if you have a heart kid um or you're just interested to see what we have going on look out for the upcoming videos better yet subscribe and hit that Hit that notification bell and uh, we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> you look cheeky, I really can't get up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. And that's just how we do it. <laughs>Hi guys, this is part two of our 28 <laughs> of our 28 week <laughs> growth and echocardiogram scans.